Now, one of the biggest challenges after a dementia diagnosis can be to maintain meaningful pastimes and an active social life. For those with an early diagnosis, the future can appear somewhat empty. But the Ontario Shores Centre for Mental Health Sciences is helping to challenge this preconception. Our reporter, Tim Estilos, visited the Oshawa Senior Citizen Centres to see how they're using technology to help people have fun. These are the joyous sights and sounds of very happy people who also just happen to be living with dementia. The excitement and happy camaraderie they're enjoying comes from a surprising source, video games. Researchers have found that commonly used technology can help improve the day-to-day -day lives of people living with dementia. Dr. Arlene Estelle is a leader in this type of research. We found there's a number of different ways technology can be helpful. Um, some of it is um, about having fun and really getting pleasure out of life. Um, and that's because we do a lot of things with games. You can see every time that the uh, Xbox is brought out, they get excited, they want to play it, they now ask for it. You can see that they're excited about playing the game, they enjoy playing it, they like to cheer for each other. So I think it's about the competition and it's about the teamwork, but it's also, I think, just something they enjoy doing. Make a fist, good. Bring it back behind you, and you're gonna throw it forward, open your fist. Good. Oh, good. good. Oh. The Xbox Connect helps them with their physical issues that some of them might have. It actually helps them for their hand-eye coordination. It helps in terms of their cognitive, for sure, because what we see is that their scores get higher. They achieve better results through playing the game more often. So we see an improvement in cognitive as well. But I think that what, for us, the benefit is the relaxation the calmness, the contentment in playing the game. Care partner Victor Pratt says he believes his wife Jean has benefited a great deal from the program. What I found out early is that it gave her something to talk about on the way home because uh, every evening as I take her home, uh, she has a story to tell me of what happened today. Tell me what it feels like when you bowl the ball and you get a big strike. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's not just the Xbox that helps people diagnosed with dementia. Other readily available off-the-shelf items help improve their day-to-day -day lives as well. We've been using iPads successfully in order to involve the caregivers. Technology for some seniors is a little foreign. So at, at the beginning it was intimidating. But what soon happened is we could see them learning the applications on the iPad and being able to play it with less and less individual instruction by either the staff or their caregivers at home. Dr. Estelle believes as people living with dementia become more comfortable using technology, it will help break down stereotypes. Having them being able to use everyday technologies that we all um, have access to and carry around with us or use at home, um, I think really breaks down barriers because it shows that um, all of the things about them that um, make them a human being in the world are, are still there. So they're just like you and I. They want to have, uh, have fun, they want to be with family, they want to be with friends, they want to go out, they want to enjoy themselves, and technology can, can help them. And, um, break, you know, show them using those same things as everybody else. 